Hello, you're welcome to Danny TV. Today, I want to share with you my esteemed viewers steps to take to completely eradicate malaria. Before I begin, permit me to say a few things about malaria as today being the 25th of April is globally recognized as World Malaria Day. As you may already know, malaria remains a significant public health challenge. In fact, Malaria has killed more people than all wars throughout human history combined so take this information I have to share with you very seriously. What is malaria? Malaria is a mosquito-borne infectious disease caused by parasites of the Plasmodium genus. This disease is transmitted to humans through the bites of infected female Anopheles mosquitoes. These parasites are released into your blood and travels to the liver where they multiply and rupture liver cells. They then infect red blood cells destroying them and causing symptoms many of you already know. What are the causes and transmission? Malaria is majorly transmitted through the bites of infected Anopheles mosquitoes, which serves as vector for the malaria parasites. There are four kinds of malaria parasites that can infect humans. They include 1. Plasmodium falciparum 2. Plasmodium oval 3. Plasmodium vivax 4. Plasmodium malariae. Malaria can also be transmitted through blood transfusions, organ transplants or from mother to child during childbirth. Signs and symptoms. Common symptoms include fever, chills, sweats, headache, vomiting, diarrhea, nausea, muscle aches and fatigue. In severe cases, it can lead to complications such as cerebral malaria, severe malaria, respiratory distress, kidney failure and coma which can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. Having said all that, here's how you can completely defeat malaria. 1. Avoid self-medication. It's very important to confirm the diagnosis of malaria through laboratory testing of blood samples before taking any anti-malarial drug. This point is essential because it will help tailor treatment by determining if you have malaria which type of malaria parasite is causing your symptoms and whether the disease is affecting any of your vital organs so please never skip this step. 2. Do not stop treatment prematurely. Many of us are guilty of this. We stop taking our medications once we get better. Please it's very important you complete the full course of treatment to prevent recurrence of malaria and development of drug resistant strains of the malaria parasite. 3. Get your medications only from reliable and genuine sources. This is because fake, outdated, substandard and expired drugs have flooded the market so be very vigilant. 4. Do not take vitamin C supplements, multivitamin and blood tonic during the course of treatment as they may prevent your anti-malarial drugs from working as expected. 5. Use your medications exactly as prescribed by your doctor or pharmacist. For many anti-malarial drugs, the second dose is taken exactly right hours after the first dose. The third dose is taken exactly 24 hours after the first dose. When in doubt, always read the instructions on the pack and ask questions. 6. Eating fatty foods like milk, fish etc. can increase the absorption of the drug so consume these foods and take adequate water. 7. Avoid repeating same combination of anti-malarial drugs each time you treat malaria. 8. Don't abuse antibiotics. Only use an antibiotics if recommended by your doctor or pharmacist after tests have been carried out. 9. Rest. Adequate rest can help your body fight the infection and promote recovery. 10. Protect yourself and others. Take precautions to avoid mosquito bites and reduce the risk of transmission to others. Use insect repellents, sleep under insecticide-treated bed nets and wear protective clothings. By implementing these comprehensive prevention and treatment strategies, we can all be optimistic of a future where malaria is no longer a threat to global health security. In Nigeria, World Malaria Day holds particular significance due to the high burden of malaria cases and its impact on public health. Regrettably, malaria is one of the leading cause of mortality and morbidity, particularly among children under 5 and pregnant women. This places a significant economic burden on the country affecting productivity, healthcare expenditures and socio-economic development. Nigeria has implemented various malaria control programs and initiatives in collaboration with international partners. Despite these efforts, Nigeria faces numerous challenges in malaria control, including inadequate funding, weak healthcare infrastructure, 
limited access to health care services in rural areas and widespread anti-malarial drug resistance. I hereby use this opportunity to call on all stakeholders in Nigeria to renew their commitment to malaria control efforts and take concrete actions to reduce the burden of malaria in the country. By working together, Nigeria can make significant strides towards achieving the goal of malaria elimination and ensuring a healthier future for all its citizens. Thank you for watching and listening.